Hey there, good to see you. Welcome back. What do you say we continue on? All right, Skyrim Script Extender. SKSE is absolutely essential. It extends the scripting capacity of the yeah, capacity of the game to allow mods to do things that would not normally be doable in the base Skyrim engine. Many mods depend on it. And also in my intro, I warned, if you are not using the Steam version, the Skyrim Special Edition, this probably won't work for you. You're gonna have some problems and uh, me, or Lexi, or anyone else isn't gonna be able to help you. So, you've been warned. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this. Let's download it. And here, we're looking for current SE build. Now there's just different ones. This is for Legendary Edition, this is for the Arbit Edition. Make sure you're getting the Special Edition version or else you're gonna have problems. Click on the 7Z Archive. And that's gonna automatically download it for me. I'm gonna open up that folder. I'm gonna close this window. I'm gonna move this over here. I'm gonna open this up. Go a little bit deeper. And just so we have some, a view of Lexi's guide, do that, okay. Now we're gonna drag these files the .dll, the loader.exe, and the Steam loader DLL. We're gonna drag those into the Skyrim uh, Special Edition directory. So let's go ahead and open up our uh, Steam library. Locate Skyrim Special Edition. And I'm gonna control click on the files that we need. So the 97.dll, the loader.exe, the Steam loader.dll. Make sure those are highlighted. Click and drag that into Skyrim Special Edition. All right, let's close this up. We can close this too. All right, that's it. That's uh, part one of Skyrim Script Extender. There's a second part to that installation. We'll get to that in another video because this is gonna be a short video. I'm just gonna do uh, Skyrim Script Extender and Microsoft Visual C uh, redistributables, redistributables because I want um, Mod Organizer 2 to have its own video. So. This tool is required for Modern Organizer 2 to function properly, the Microsoft Visual C here. And we're gonna download two files here, the x86 and x64. So let's go and click on download here. And let's locate those, those two videos. Videos? Those two files. It's right here. Here's x86, x64. I don't know if it's because I have night mode on or something like that. I don't know if my web, if your web page is gonna look like this. Anyways, x86, let's do that one first. Click that, click save. Then x64, click that, click save. Let's open up our download folder, open that up, and let's go and install them. I'm gonna start with 64.exe. Hit agree, and then install. Yes. I think you guys are seeing a black screen when uh, Windows is asking for authorization. But anyways, when you see that black screen and you hear me say yes, it's because I'm clicking yes on that authorization. All right, you must restart your computer before you can use the software. We're not gonna do that just yet. Click close. Now let's install the 86.exe. Agree, and install. Yes. And once again, we're not gonna restart just yet. I'm gonna go ahead and delete these from my download folder. Oop, oop, close this up. All right, that was a very short video. In the next video, we're gonna, uh, yeah, in the next video, we're gonna do Mod Organizer 2. My favorite Skyrim modding tool ever. And so, I guess go ahead and restart your computer. I'll see you in the next video for Mod Organizer 2. But wait a minute, wait a minute, wait. I wanna, I wanna ask you something. Do you feel that? Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, not that. Good God. Get you out of I'm talking about momentum. I, you feel the momentum? Yeah. Jeez. All right, I'll see you in the next video.